On June 30, 1911, Joplin Union Depot opened to the public. This reinforced concrete structure was designed by Kansas City architect Lewis Curtis and helped define Curtis's reputation as a pioneer in fireproof construction. Unlike other train depots at the time, which generally depict classical stylistic elements, Curtis's design incorporated geometric embellishments to create a prairie modern style building. The depot serviced the Kansas City Southern, Missouri Kansas Texas, and Santa Fe railroads and allowed the already growing Joplin area to flourish. On November 3, 1969, the last train departed the depot, and for over 50 years the building has remained vacant. Since 1972, groups have proposed alternate uses for the structure, including a Joplin Museum complex, but nothing ever came to fruition. The building is currently threatened by a number of factors, including neglect and deterioration, as well as vandalism. The once white painted walls are covered with graffiti. Current players in advocacy for the future of the depot include the City of Joplin, the Joplin Historic Preservation Commission, Downtown Joplin Alliance, Post Art Library, Historic Murfreesburg Preservation Inc., and other regional preservation groups and residents. The Missouri Department of Natural Resources State Historic Preservation Office has owned the building since 1998 with hopes of finding a buyer who will rehabilitate the structure. Supporters hope that listing the Joplin Union Depot as a place in peril will raise awareness of the property's availability and help find a developer to restore this important piece of Joplin's history.